Do you really need your brake fluid flushed? Or is your mechanic trying to scam you into some totally unnecessary service? Well, the easiest way to tell is just to grab yourself one of these cheap little brake fluid testers on Amazon and just test it for yourself. Let me show you how it's done. Remove the brake fluid reservoir cap and submerge the two metal prongs of this device into the fluid and press the button. Then observe the reading. Brake fluid absorbs water from the atmosphere and this is not a closed system. And the green, yellow, and the red on the gauge correspond to the amount of water in the brake fluid. Why does water saturation matter? You don't want water and metal together that can cause rust and corrosion. Definitely don't want that in the braking system. But also, brake fluid is a hydraulic fluid. It does not compress. You might be thinking water doesn't compress either. Well, true, but add some heat, water turns into steam, and that does compress. And that's gonna give you that squishy pedal feel and reduce braking ability. Now, water saturation is not the only thing that I take into consideration when recommending a brake fluid flush. Chances are, if the brake fluid is over two years old and it is fully saturated with water, it does need a flush. There's a quick answer. Hope this helps.